Alright, hey guys, the Lone Wolf here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm taking a first look at Spiral Knights. It's a free-to-play game um, on Steam that I've actually been wanting to try out for some time now. So, um, I was going to make an EVE Online video, but I'm stuck in a Volan at the moment, waiting for a live event. So, uh, I've also wanted to play this game for quite a bit, just to try it out. Because uh, it's so small, so there's really no no reason not to at least give it a single try. And uh, here we are. I just started, uh, did a couple of the rebinds. Uh, so you do have uh, WASD movements, but you really don't need it. You can just left click with the mouse as well. And with the mouse wheel, I can switch from my sword to my gun. And uh, yeah, I've chosen, uh, I think, a pretty good looking uh, knight there uh, with a bit of uh, golden armor. So let's, let's destroy some of these bushes from range and then with the sword let's try that out a bit. Right mouse key or the Z, Z button so that's okay. Oh, can I destroy that? Oh, I actually can. So let's, uh, there's even hearts and loot coming from that. Um, I actually saw a quick uh, first impressions video on this before downloading it just to get a bit of an idea but uh, yeah, it does remind uh, me a bit of, uh, of Zelda ah so there is a reload on the gun interesting minus six 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 one down three shots four shots and they're down just uh, go over there to loot it no problem that's the rock down and uh, what's that stuff no idea but all right um, okay so far graphically I took out anti-aliasing and it's running at like 200 frames per second so that's pretty good and uh, so far it looks pretty smooth a bit cartoony of course but what you expect from a 300 megabyte game and that's free to play as well on the other hand it's always uh, amongst the more popular to play games uh, on, on the Steam as well so yeah why not give it a shot so here we go I'm gonna try and complete the, the tutorial right let's melee these guys no need to reload on my sword it seems that's good one I don't know what all of this stuff is yet uh, Vitapod plus one completed health bonus plus one can I use this or something? Nope, doesn't look like it. So we'll just continue on ahead. And that stuff, yeah, that looked like it was gonna explode. What's that? Looks like a flare of some kind. Can I pick that up or... Ah, he's uh, blocking, yeah. All right, set that there. The Lone Wolf, I'm glad to see you. This place is so alien. I'm happy to see a familiar face and not another hostile. Glad to see you in one piece as well, Rendon. Where are the other survivors? Establish comlink with knights that have formed a rescue camp up ahead. If you head north, you should eventually reach it. I'm going to stay here for now and locate any other knights that have crashed in the area. So yeah, that's just the NPC waiting for us. And if we keep going north, we'll end up on some sort of camp. So let's continue to head north then. Is that automatic camera function? Yeah, so that's uh, too bad. I don't seem to be able to control that. But all right. I guess you can't have everything. You can just shoot that stuff. So yeah, might have been a puzzle. Seemed like what were arrows on there, but that's not the case. Whoa. And here are some uh, some robots. They look like they're a bit Christmassy as well. It's close to the holidays, of course. More of them. Keep firing. Stay at range. Keep firing. Take them out. Switch to the sword. Slash. Defend. Hit. Hit. Come on. Right, and they explode. Anything left in those rocks? Nope. Yeah, pretty intuitive controls. Nothing major. Um, one 
I'm already at the end of the tutorial, I think. The crash site. Waking in a new world. And I get some heat. Which is, as far as I've read it, a system that uh, limits how much you can play for free on any given day. But it does replenish uh, passively as well. Um, so that's okay, I guess. And um, here we are now. I can see some other players here as well. Greetings and squad leader Greta. You must be Lone Wolf. Welcome to Rescue Camp. Red Dawn radioed us. You said you expected you. And um, not a moment to soothe, seeing as how you battled your way here all on your own. You're just the kind of knight we need. What's the problem? Camp has no power and the sun is setting soon. Last night, all manner of horrible monsters came after the dark. We couldn't see. And had no power for our defensive troops. We lost a lot of recruits. We need channel power to the rescue camp so that we can set up a defensive perimeter before night falls. Can I help this? Um, Rendon said he won't meet up with you before you take on this mission. So, yeah, there we go. This uh, looks like some pretty basic questing. So, let's uh, just look around here for, for just a bit and talk a bit more about uh, the game, what I learned about it just from reading. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's a, a system that uh, limits how much you can play um, on any given day. Um, I think it was that you needed this heat in order to go from one uh, section uh, level of the game to another. And uh, you can't just keep doing that as much as you want, but it does come back uh, after a while. So you can just play a bit every day, which I don't think is, is such a bad system, in my opinion. Um, and the other thing is that it's uh, it has a lot of tradable goods in it. So a lot of people do play it for Team Fortress 2 hats. And uh, yeah, you can like sell in-game currency as well. Um, all integrated within Steam itself. So I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to play. But I have always wanted to check it out. And that's what I'm doing right now. Can I talk to... There we go. Uh, random. I hear you've selected, uh, they selected you to save the day, huh? Well, before you go, I'll hero on me and go marching off into the darkness below. Why don't you and I go over, on over to the other side of the camp? Teach a few of the monsters that tore up this camp last night a lesson. Sure, I'm game. Then I get a proto bomb. This will come in handy. Let's put it to good use right away. You can accept mission by clicking the mission button at the top of the screen and accept the mission I've given you and conversation right missions select a mission card to receive a mission briefing so that will be rewards and enable options to start a mission mm, scouring the camp I get 10 prestige a Vita suit and a Robo Wrecker. At the moment, I have a Proto Sword. Can I see the damage on that? Yeah, I just with the bars a bit. So it looks pretty similar. And then the suit looks also pretty similar. Anyways, let's start that. Let's uh, see how the missions work. And that looks a bit like an instant. Anything you wish to replicate. Get to work blowing up these scrap heaps, but first you'll need to equip the boat up. Um, head over to the arsenal station behind me and equip it. So that looks like it's what I need. And I can just take the proto bomb and. Okay. I do wonder how I use it. Maybe it's one of the quick slots or something. Proto gun. Can I put that in here? No. So just right. So it's equipped. Ah, all right. I can switch from the gun to the proto bomb. Mm, that's maybe not what I want. So instead of the gun, I'll equip the sword. Can I just click on that? Let's see. Figure out how that work. Equip as weapon one. And then I'll equip the proto bomb. Equip as weapon two. 
There we go. All right, so we'll go melee and proto bomb. No, wait. No, a quick listen on charge attacks. Charge attacks can perform with any weapon by holding down the attack button and waiting for charge aura to reach maximum charge. You can still move around while charging. Reach maximum charge. Release the attack button and unleash a devastating. Right. Bombs are special in that they have no standard attack. A bomb can only be used as a charge attack. So make sure to outmaneuver monsters while charging. Okay, practice a few bomb attacks and then head in there and destroy those mechanical monsters. So I equip that, charge it. That door just pop up behind you like a trap. Defend yourself, the lone wolf. Okay. That didn't work too well. So there goes the bomb. Right, gotcha. That's how it works. And slash. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta get used to the control just a little bit. Die in just a couple hits. Oh, there's more monsters there. So I might want to take the bomb. Charge that up there. And plant it down close to that turret. Boom. Well, that doesn't do damage, damage. Totally useless. <laughs> I'd rather go with the sword then. Come on. More enemies to slash down. Explodes. Dies. What the heck was that? Where did that door come from? It would seem a mechanical world beneath our feet. Has it in for us, Don't move. Better watch yourself anyway. I think this area is a good cure at least until nightfall. Let's head ba back to camp. Alright, so that was just a really small dungeon. Let's see if there's anything else. Slash or take? Nope. But right, that proto bomb pretty damn useless to be honest. I'd rather have the gun. So let's see if I can just switch it over. Handguns. Handgun right there. And move back to the Rescue camp, alright, just go over the line, receive some heat, heat, some crowns as well. And back to the rescue camp. Mission complete. Do I have to pick something or can I just go for another mission? Yeah, the ancient generator next. Explore the ancient generator and restore power to the rescue camp before the night falls. Well, I'll press start to accept it. Let's see if I go straight to... I do go straight to the... To that dungeon. Alright then. Oh, there's someone else in here. The elevator will activate when... Let's see... Party members are... S when all living party members are standing on it. Oh, I see. Well, it, this is noob territory, but alright, you get, go straight into a party, so... Let's get him up there as well. And now there's three knights. Let's uh, descend then. Interesting. It puts me straight into a party. Not what I expected, but all right. <laughs> and this one's loading a bit more slowly. But all right, here we go. Uh, 
a name I don't really want to pronounce and another name I don't really want to pronounce. They look like bot names actually. So let's see. If we can't uh, do this mission together with them. So far there's only two of us that are really in action but alright. He's using the bomb. <laughs> and he got hit by his own bomb. <laughs> Alright, and the third knight is there as well. Ah, interesting. He shows something uh, pretty interesting right there. You can also charge up the gun and then fire a big uh, attack. Right, so it looks like this guy does know a bit of what he's doing. So let's just try and uh, keep the monsters away from him. More, need more firepower. I definitely seem to enjoy the uh, range playstyle the most. Let's see if I can't charge my gun. Doesn't seem to want to. Ah, there we go. Charge. Boom. He's down. I do wonder what those those pots are. And there we get a key. Pick up the gold key and use it to open the gold door. So how do I pick that up? Hmm. Press attack to lift up the object. Okay, got that now. Boom! Alright, guns are out. Although I'll just try and follow uh, this red and blue guy because he does seem to know what he's doing. What is heat? Collecting the heat embers will level up your gear when you reach an elevator. Come on, dude. The third one. Ha, he's still, he's still uh, taking care of the turrets. And come on, everybody on there. That's pretty obvious. Ah, okay. Loot whore. Take some loot as well then. And moving on. Once again, all three of us are gonna have to be on here. Let's go straight into attacking. That one dies. And I do get hit again and again. Not so good, come on. Well, I'd rather play ranged, it seems. And did we lose one of our guys? Ah, there's a little heart. There we go. Well, it does look like we lost one. One. Boom. And they are gone. Where the hell is that third guy? Did he move up ahead? Don't know, we'll see. An alarm. Okay, oh, hey, I'm not gonna let all that loot stick there so let's move on
Yep, full of health and well, looks like our third guy left. And here we have, I don't know what to make of that, but uh, Razwalk. No one disrupts the work of the great schemer Razwalk. I'll see it, you never leave this room alive. So that's probably gonna be the end phase. Also hit that, does look like it. In the meantime, he's using his bombs as much as possible. We do have some hearts right there. That's uh, some infernal machine. That's destroyed. And the console explodes, explodes and Razwalk. I'll be back for you. Anything I can click to speed that up? Enter maybe? Nope. So you do have to wait a bit for those small cutscenes. That looks like the generator we needed. Each take sides, all right, and then back up to the elevator. Get hit for level two loot acquired. Oh, it looks like it's shared, so let's go back to the town. Right, mission complete. There we go, that's the progress bar to a next level. Hatchet and a punch gun. Proto gun, punch gun. Alright, well, uh, it's already like 20 minutes in, so I'm going to stop this one here for now. I'm pretty sure that I can just take back the mission when I log back in. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, a first look at Spiral Knights. Um, not sure what to make of it yet, but I'll check it out a little bit more and I'll see you all next time.